So I want to know what is your current relationship status? Relationship status? You know, I'm yeah. happily seeing people, you know, trying to see what works, what doesn't. So single. And uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, okay, and I have to ask this because on the season finale of Real Housewives of Potomac, they always, on All Housewives on the season finale, they, they like pause, they do a still shot, and then they do a little like Oh, I never conclusion. said I was single. Oh, you're not single? Well, I said I'm like seeing, you know, where, where situationships may go. Oh, I thought you said like, oh, I'm seeing so people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not well, really like, like single, but that's well, you're not like, very, are like, you in a, anyone. are you like monogamous or you're just like dating people? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby gorgeous. Welcome to Bravo and Please, where we're going to get lit off all the latest going on in the Bravo TV world. This is a safe and uncensored space to discuss our love for everything pop culture and 420 related. So grab your can of goodies and let's get lit. Welcome everyone to Bravo and Blaze. I am your host, Jenny Blaze, and we have a very special bonus episode today with my absolute favorite person on Winter House, Jason Cameron. Thank you so much for being here, Jason. Hey, Jenny. So happy <laughs> to be here. Thanks for having me back. Oh, absolutely. So this is a special Valentine's Day bonus episode, which we also did last year. So maybe this is like a tradition that we're going to start. Like maybe we should normalize platonic Valentine's, Valentine's. Day dates. Right? Yeah. yeah. There needs to be more. We're going <laughs> to set the, set the stage. We're going to, you know, get the trending we're going to get this oh, up yeah. and running. Yeah. I We're agree. trendsetters for sure. Hey. <laughs> so we just had the Super Bowl. I know you love football, but your team didn't make it. Who did you that, root for instead? I was rooting for the Eagles. Oh, is there a reason for that? Is it because they're closer or? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> you nailed nail on the head. I was like, well, <laughs> they're just north, so. Yeah, Eagles fly, Eagles fly, baby. And yeah, we, we almost had it for a minute. Like we were doing pretty well. Um, yeah, man, and that's how the game goes, right? I know. And you know what's crazy? My husband predicted, um, what's his name from the Chiefs, the Mahomes. quarterback with the with the yeah. ankle. He was like, he's gonna get re injured, and then lo and behold, I was like. You're a witch or warlock or something. <laughs> what the hell? You're like, I'm gonna watch what he says a little more carefully. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you just made that happen. But what did you think about Rihanna's performance? I was one, you know, shocked with the world as they're watching, kind of wondering, <laughs> like, the you know, belly out, belly in, you know, but the performance. All those hits were so great. And it just brought me back to like growing up. I was like, oh, yes. oh, oh. You I know. know. Was such a magical moment to be able to share, you know, her news and her catalog at the same time of like yes. everything she's done for this generation. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I Every transition to a new song, like it just hit. And I was like, oh, love her. And then floating and the makeup, in the air. And the, what? Oh, yeah, the makeup. Dude, she is just. Was, uh. yeah. And then the looks Queen. that she gives to the camera. She's just like mm. so fierce. Oh, my God. Like, I have a major crush on her. <laughs> yeah, heart palpitations. I was like watching like. I was like sweating. I'm like, ah, I, want, I don't know if I should cry. But yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. So I wanted to thank you. I wanted to give you a special thank you for coming to my live show before BravoCon, especially since it was the same night as your Winter House premiere. I felt so honored and I wanted to make sure that I gave you a big thank you for that because I loved I it. I wasn't going to miss it for the world. I was so happy that I got the invite and I'm so proud of you getting out and doing your, you know, New York City thing. You know, it's, it's rare yeah. to see you in the city one and then, you know, <laughs> and then our Valentine's 
you know, catch up, but yeah, yeah, that was, that was special. So I was happy to see you doing your thing and um, yeah. everyone seemed to have a great time and thanks for the, for yes. the cocktails. They were delicious. Oh yeah. It was <laughs> so fun. It was great. It, I don't know. I just love this Bravo community and I, so you're like relatively new to Bravo and I have been watching for decades, but I haven't really been in it like this until recently like pretty yeah. much same time as you. So I didn't even know how crazy it was. And then to go to BravoCon, I felt like I was in a, like on a different planet. <laughs> I felt like we were on a cruise. We all kept running mm -hmm. into each other over a three day period. It was like, it was wild. Can you please tell me your thoughts on BravoCon? What your experience <laughs> was like? What stood out to you? I, I mean, know. just thinking about it, I mean, it's giving me like the chills, you know, it, it, <laughs> it was surreal. I had never was. one experienced that much love from a community, from the Bravo community or community in general. Um, yeah. You know, I was just kind of taken back by the entire experience. Yeah. You know, one, just even being at the Javits, like center, like yeah. that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's major. I mean, beyond itself. So yeah, I'm a little like, yeah, caught off. Like, I don't even know where to start. But you know, I, I didn't plan right. I didn't wear what I wanted to wear. I was completely underdressed. And I was like, just smiling ear to ear the entire time. So oh, it was so fun. It was Yeah, I have you ever been to like Burning Man or Coachella? Or anything I like have, that? I have not. But they're on my uh, <laughs> Effort list, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I've never really like had a desire to go to one of those, but everyone like raves about them, like raves, you know, pun yeah. intended. But um, I <laughs> just felt like it. BravoCon was like my version of what I would imagine Coachella or Burning Man to be, like this three day long, almost festival of just yeah. like nonstop. Let's go here, like everywhere you turn, there's something to do and. It was just so fun. I loved it. I loved all of it. Who was your favorite person that you met? I mean, or Andy. Ta oh, Andy. and down. Uh, Wait, you never ball. met Andy? Like, well, I mean, I ha I've actually known Andy for quite some time. <laughs> oh, we used to work in hospital. I used to work in hospitality, and I used to work for him um through one of my caterers Cynthia Hayson Simple Foods and she used oh. to do a lot of his baked goods no um, way yeah so I was working with Andy years before even the show came out or even came up wow which is really really kind of wild how things come full circle in life you know it's, it's one of those crazy. surreal moments Wait, so did Where? he like seek you out for the show or it, no, did it just no, the stars aligned? No. So it, here's an even funnier story. It's like at Legends Ball, I'm like, so good to see you again. Like, he's like, yeah, so good to see you. And then I was like, I called up my, my girl, Cynthia. And I was like, Sid, I saw him at Legends Ball. He was like, you remember me? And she was like, oh, that's so good. I'm going to give him a call. Well, no. Okay, so fast forward to Watch What Happens Live. And she's like, you know what? I'm just going to give him a call and let him know. Like, I'm so happy that Jason's finally on Watch What Happens Live. And I get to watch what happens live. And he's like, I had no idea that was you at Legends Ball. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have braided hair. My hair was short back then. Like maybe that just, he sees a ton of beautiful looking yeah. people every day. <laughs> he sees so many people. I felt weird. I went up to him, like I told you, after the Legends Ball. And I just... Yeah. I did not expect to see Andy Cohen at all during BravoCon. And let alone, like, when I got to that party, I was just like, what am I doing here? Because <laughs> actually, like, I mean, I told you the whole thing. But I'm like, what? this is wild. I can't believe I'm here. And then I turn around and Andy Cohen is literally, like, we made eye contact. And we're both, like, no one was in between us. And it was just us, like, face to face. <laughs> And I panicked, so I just turned around. I put my back to Andy Cohen, and I was like, "What the hell is wrong with me?" You're probably but not I the first or the last person to ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did eventually talk to him, but I was just like, good, I good. was not expecting any of that to happen. So I was just like, not really prepared. But did yeah. you have? <laughs> 
What did you think, or what was your favorite part about BravoCon? Was it meeting other Bravo Lebs, meeting Andy, or yeah. the fans? Um, the fans are pretty wild. The the fans are number one. They're always number one. They, Aww. I mean, without them, this wouldn't even be possible. So, to be able to have this platform and you know the community come around us at the Javis was incredible. I think the best moment for me in general out of those three days. Um, was certainly meeting other cat, other cast crews, you know, people that are involved in other shows and, you know, connecting with them and, you know, see what their walk of life has been like in a sense. Yeah. Um, and then I, the first night legends ball, I think it was that, mm -hmm. yeah, that was huge. I mean, that kind of opened up my eyes to be like, Oh wow, this is the stage I'm on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. Work time next time. Yeah. What's <laughs> we'll that one guy's time. name from state farm? He was there. Jared from State Farm, is that his name? <laughs> I was like, no way, yeah. Jared's here. Wild. Yeah, he was. He was he, he's <laughs> kicking it, just kicking it with us. <laughs> it was so fun. But was um, fun. I did have some questions about Winter House. We saw you were on season one, season two, yeah. and that has wrapped already. And now, actually, tonight is the premiere of Summer House, which you should be on. Yes. <laughs> I am going to start a petition. <laughs> Maybe next year. Well, I wanted to know, okay, so tell, can you tell me about your, are there, were there differences in your experience between season one and season two of Winter House? Absolutely. Um, season one was literally just what's going on. Like, you know, <laughs> eyes wide open, like deer in the headlights, you know, trying to understand how everything works um and, and getting to know the cast members the crew the just how things work period yeah um, that that was difficult to really understand i think at first because you know i never really knew what the show was about or I never really watched summer house or i never really watched any of the other ones oh, so wow. i was like huh, let me figure this out real quick um second season was a more like you know i developed some friendships and relationships with the people clearly maybe some closer relationships that I had intended with other people and, you know, certain things that happened. Yeah. You know, I, I felt a little more like a part of the family in a sense. So everyone's yeah. a little more close knit and, you know, people are vibing on different levels and then having other visitors in the house kind of amped up like the energy as well. So yeah. I was like, okay, well, this is how it is. And this is how it could be. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Like warehouse is going crazy. <laughs> Um, and, and who knows where they'll take it from there or, you know, if they even have something that, you know, more to do with warehouse, that would be amazing. But just the first two seasons alone have really given me like a different outlook of, you know, the people, their perspectives and just how much fun we can all have together and how it could also go the opposite way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But we all come back to the table, you know, and it, it's, it's very important that we do so. Yeah. yeah, I love Winter House. It is like interesting that there's so many different dynamics with Summer House and Southern Charm. It's like it's getting like you have to really get into it. There's so there is there's a lot of layers to everything that's you going know, on. I always say that like Winter House is like an easier watch. You know, if you haven't watched Southern Charm or if you haven't watched Summer House, yeah. like Winter House is like kind of like a fun, you know, yeah. you can just jump right in, you know, you'll oh, figure yeah. it out right <laughs> yeah definitely do you guys drink every single day when you're there because <laughs> it seems like you do and I'm like I don't know I can't do that I'm just shocked I, every time I don't, I don't think everyone drinks every day no <laughs> okay <laughs> some do though I'm I'm guessing well I, you're I there mean, to there, have fun it, <laughs> yeah and you know there is like moments where we'll have like a dark day you know or we're like we have the day to ourselves, or you know just like I think one I don't know, whatever. But we'll have like a little time off. <laughs> How and many gonna, days we'll, was it? How many like days was it this three year? weeks. Oh, okay. Was it longer this time yeah. than last time? No, it was about the same. Oh, it's the same? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I have a question about a couple of the people on Winter House season two. Okay. One, I wanted to ask you about... I call her the girl who expects compliments, um, but you know her as Jess. 
<laughs> I just have a question about her. Like, how did this all come about? Because she said that she was there because she met you through Instagram. I got to know more details. Yeah. <laughs> We did meet through social media. I slid into the DMs. I reached out to her. I, you know, good looking, whatever. Seemed fun. Seemed like down to earth. And yeah, I met her when I was out for work on the West Coast doing some modeling oh. and stuff. We caught up. Oh. I thought she was cool. And yeah, I said, you know, maybe you can come on this trip. We'll see. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's, and, that's yeah. cool. I like that. So they were just like, organic. so do the producers, they're just like, do you have anyone who wants to come on the show? Yeah, I think they do that with a lot of people. You know, they'll they'll just cast a wide net and see, you know, who's in your circle or who who have you, you know, been close with or in touch with or Interesting. Who, who's, I mean, that's how I got Jules pitched to me. Like Jules from the first season yes. was like, they're like, do you know anyone? And they're like, well, Jason's like, he's cool. Give him a call. <laughs> And that's literally how it happened for me. So you never how really know how Ju that plays out. Where did Jules go? How come she didn't come back? I miss Jules. I don't know. I do too. I don't know. I don't know. Darn it. That's, that's a question I, I don't have an answer to. <laughs> <laughs> so are you still friends with Jess? Yeah. I mean, there's no reason for us not to be friends. I don't think we keep in touch as like you would imagine like a like every week or so but yeah yeah and she's on this coast i'll you know hear from her if i'm on that coast i'll reach out for sure cool yeah <laughs> i just like i couldn't believe, i'm like i i did episodes about this i won't go into it now but i was well, just like hey, why does know, she expect compliments <laughs> there's a stark difference from like me inviting her on the show and like how the show played out i mean i don't yeah. think anyone especially me knew or I just really can expect people to act a certain way. People are going to do what they want to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I, yeah. Not, there's no, <laughs> nothing against you for bringing her on. I just like, I was like, where does this girl come from? It's just so interesting. And then her with Corey yeah, and everything. Oh my gosh. I wonder, <laughs> do you think she would ever come back? Because she um, kind of disassociated herself from the, show once it was airing yeah I, I found that a little strange but you know at the same time I for her first season I think that that was her way to cope with what the media's perception of yeah. her was going to be and what people thought of her and like I didn't know if she was comfortable putting herself or that out there yeah um I can imagine I'm, it's probably not easy actually I know it's not easy <laughs> No, it's not at all. Like, you know, I was calling to check in, you know, every now and then to be like, is everything good? You're cool, you know. But yeah. it wasn't cool for certain moments. You know, people were like threatening her and sending her like evil messages and like we're oh, that's calling awful. her, you know. Yeah, it was awful. Like people, that's... people that want to troll will troll. There's a bunch of them out there. And it, it was just, yeah. it's unfortunate to see that, especially when we're, you know, all just trying to have a good time and, you know. Yeah, that's awful. See, no one deserves to be threatened or like, I mean, no, you can have an opinion, but like, don't tear people down either. And like, actually go to them and be like, you are this or that. It's like, come on. <laughs> like, this is a show. Yeah. But, oh, well, it's I like, wish her so the best. Serious? Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also want to know, so we know that you and Rachel had like a little thing on the show. And then I believe she has a boyfriend now. So obviously you guys aren't together. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened after the show? Because I felt like it was almost like there, it was anticlimactic between you two because you still were kind of like, oh, you know, like we're kissing here and there. And like there was interest, but we didn't see what happened after that. So I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I think all the uh, action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was, there was, I mean, you saw <laughs> on the show, like, and yeah, I guess if it was anticlimactic, I'm sorry. But at the same time, like, we were just <laughs> in a moment of like getting to know each other. And I think seeing the other relationships in the house kind of, I wouldn't say like dwarf what was going on with us, but like at the same time, it was something like, oh, well, they're going to, you know, go and do that 
let's just get to know each other a little better. And, you know, I was on the more slow playing role of the whole, like, I don't even know if this is something I really want to jump into or, right. you know, I know what this did to me last season <laughs> in a sense on this trip when I, you know, two feet first. Woo! Yeah. You know, like I was really going for it, but it, it, she, and she was just was very receptive to just like getting to know one another. So I thought that was even more special. Yeah, I loved you too. I was shipping you guys so hard. And then when, and when so I thought she had a boyfriend. <clears throat> yeah, and to answer when we got back, we hung out quite a few times. You know, I met her out at a few parties. We went out to a few events. She had a few events. Um, I helped her with a few events with the flowers. You know, like we, we, we kept in touch. Yeah, you know, Aww. but it was just, you know, I'm in Manhattan. She's in Brooklyn. Sometimes that's more than enough for people not to talk. <laughs> no, that's totally true. Oh my gosh. I remember when I used to live in the city, I'm like, oh, that's so far away. Am I across the bridge? <laughs> yeah. That's why I was so surprised you came to my show. I'm like, you came from Harlem? Like, I felt even more special. Thank you so much. That's right. <laughs> Harlem in the house. So you guys are still friends though, you and Rachel. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, no, but nothing bad between us. I, I, I wish her all the best I, and the happiness, you know, she deserves it. Yeah. I love her. I just love, love, uh, love her so much. She is <laughs> the sweetest person ever. So she's, she's, um, her flowers yeah. are amazing. I'm like, I want to hire her. I'm that's on my vision board to have an event yeah. where she does all the flowers. Cause it's I, still, I think I have her painting somewhere in my apartment on my wall. Hold on. Let me see if I can. He paints. It. She did it for you. Like she didn't well, paint so, uh, it and then be like, here, you want it? Like she actually no. painted it for you. <laughs> um, I, on our like last day or second to last day at the house, oh, I set up like one. a little painting. Yes. Okay. Session I'm sorry. Her. I do what remember. You, I'm sorry. I thought you, yeah. she like did a separate one after that. Oh no. That's maybe cool. I'll ask if you will contract her and get some, <laughs> some more art on my walls i could use a few more things but no oh she's, she's a, a beautiful you know creative mind that yes just, i was very impressed with what she does with her work and just yes. in you know freehand i was like Whoa! and then you should have seen my photo i was like oh my god <laughs> was, it's was like stick figures <laughs> uh i got a lot of work to do oh it's all good so i want to know what is your current relationship status relationship status you know i'm yeah. happily seeing people you know trying to see what works what doesn't so single and uh yeah yeah <laughs> because okay and i have to ask this because on the season finale of real housewives of potomac they always on all housewives on the season finale they, they like pause they do a still shot and then they do a little like oh i never conclusion. said i was single oh you're not single well i said i'm like seeing you know where, where situationships may go. Oh, I thought you said like, oh, I'm seeing so, people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not well, really like, like single. But that's well, you're not like, very, are like, you in a, on. are you like monogamous? Or are you just like dating people? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay, so you're dating. You're dating. Okay. <laughs> dating around. Awesome. Because yeah. on the Real Housewives of Potomac, when they did yeah, Giselle's conclusion, they said she's dating a Bravo lab and there's been, you know, pictures and things, you know, circulating saying, well, there was you and her on a date, like dinner date, which I okay. didn't think was a big deal. Like, whatever, people can go to dinner. Like, we're on a platonic Valentine's Day date right now. But hey. <laughs> also somebody, I think another rumor was going around that you met her daughters as well. So then there's even more speculation like, oh, maybe there is something going on. So you don't have to tell me, well, but just curious. <laughs> uh-huh. So curious. I will <laughs> say I, I have met her daughters. The first time I met her, I met her daughters. So oh my she gosh. had a live podcast in the city for Reasonably Shady with Robin. Yes, after Thanksgiving at the city winery. Yes, and yes. I was invited. Um, went to this live podcast. I had a great time. I sat. I, I was actually late, so I was like standing <laughs> at the door. I went to the wrong place first. Of oh, I, no. I thought it was like city, city brewery or whatever, but the, like city winery is like a mile up the road. So I'm like huffing, 
<laughs> oh up there, I got there like 40 minutes late. I was like, I'm here. And I opened uh, the door and like, it's a packed house. Um, oh, and like, nice. you know, our daughters are right there. I didn't know that they were her daughters, but you know, lo and behold, after the event, you know, we caught up. I was introduced through Luke and Ashley. Oh. Like they had put us in touch with each other. So I was like, yeah, let me go check out this live podcast. See what's going on. And like after that, I met the daughters and I met her. We had a drink. And, you know, whenever she's in the city, I'm just like, hit me up and we'll like, you know, grab a bite, do some dinner, do some things. And she's great. Love. Awesome. Great, okay. Great so people. Then, great, great people. So great it's, family, great mother. She, she's she's a rock yes. star. Oh, oh my gosh. I am manifesting seeing you on Real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Please. manifesting it. Uh, <laughs> hey, you never know. I mean, well, Ashley and Luke were together, I guess, for a little bit, but then she said that they were not dating anymore, but then she was seen with him in Minnesota. Yeah, really never, I mean, but then on the finale, they said that she's not dating him anymore. So I'm very confused because I actually had a bet with, <laughs> with another Bravo podcast account, the Brav Bros, because they believe that Ashley and Luke are going to stay together for a whole year. And so I was like, okay. October 14th, 2023, <laughs> because that's when BravoCon was. I was like, they, and, <sighs> and they keep saying they're broken up. So I'm like, did I win? I don't know. <laughs> but that's I don't funny. know. Because you know what? I'm not sure from the time frames of when they shot the reunion and when Luke's beer thing was in. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. So that might have been detectives. before. <laughs> oh, help us, internet. No. Okay. Yeah. We'll but someone out. will figure it out. <laughs> I gotta catch. I was supposed to catch up with Luke this past weekend. It never worked out. I gotta. I gotta hit him back up. So I'll get. To, I'll try and get the scoop, and I'll hit you up. Get the tea. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I need to know <laughs> what is coming up for you in the upcoming months. What should we oh, look forward to? What's coming up for me? Um. I mean, I'm gonna. You know, I'm really getting back into like cooking again. Uh, I mean, I always love cooking. Yeah. So I started doing a, a few like little tutorials, little videos of cooking. Oh. So I'm. A, I might lean a little more into that. I, I was going to try and do it last year, but the yeah. nonprofit that I work for kind of took a lot of my time. I'm still yeah. very, you know, in tune with them. I'm there quite a few days a week. Um, but, you know, I'm still doing a little modeling on the side and, you know, acting gigs that come along, I might pick up. But, yeah, nice. I, I'm really waiting for something exciting, like a big trip or something. But I, I don't have anything really juicy for you. I might go do a cooking class in the south of France this summer. Oh my God. That That's sounds like amazing. Right. Oh right. my God. Someone's definitely <laughs> gonna wanna like you're gonna have to you're gonna have women coming after you left and right, more so than they already are. A man who can cook, you already can cook. If you can cook even better, oh my god. <laughs> this world I'm just is screwed. To get my... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or they're gonna be very we're full very soon we're doomed we're all gonna be in love <laughs> uh, well perfect that's what i was going for oh uh, well thank you so much for yeah. being here <laughs> again Ugh, i, mean, I love this, this tradition this is a, we're gonna keep it rocking so fun maybe we could turn yeah. it into like a non-profit organization like for yeah, lonely singles love. <laughs> for friends and family and like you know just having like our own little valentine you know yeah experience. Get a yeah, get the gang. Not? Get a gang together. Yeah. Yes. I like this idea. We'll keep running with it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're gonna run back. Run it back for sure.